Okay, I'm going to try this again. This time I'm going to have the camera on so it actually records what I'm doing. Um, I'm doing an unboxing video. Now I have some stuff that's not in boxes. But anyway, I'm going to recap what I did since obviously you guys are probably not going to see any of it. Because I don't think it just worked. But anyway, uh, first package I got was a nice little pad envelope and a letter. And the letter says, howdy Jeff. Let's consider this round two, since I did try to send you this stuff before, but apparently it didn't get to you. Anyways, I'd like to tell you that you make some amazing videos, and you've been very influential uh, to me concerning the subject of knives, and now very recently pipes and tobacco. I'm very sorry that I have not subscribed to you sooner as well. I had no idea what I was thinking. To get to the contents of the package, what I have for you is a prototype formula of a very nifty protective beeswax coating that you can use for just about anything. Uh, I love using it on my tomahawk, tomahawk heads to prevent the carbon steel from rusting, as well as their um, halves, can't say Fs, um, to give myself some better grip on uh, top of protecting the wood from the elements. Knowing you, I'm sure that you'll love this stuff on your blades and firearms. Thanks again for all you do and your great videos, and please enjoy the beeswax. <clears throat> this is from Philip, and his YouTube name is 550. F's and 5's don't work very good for me. Not right now, anyway. 550 for fighters. Of, of course, I have to lose my teeth and then say your name. Uh, so, 550-F-O-R-F-I-G-H-T-E-R-S. And uh, it seems pretty cool. Um, first of all, not that it makes a difference at all, but it smells good. It's got kind of a lemon rubina type um, smell to it. But anyway, it's uh, just a formula that he made, you know, and it's just basically beeswax and a couple other things, and uh, he uses it to protect uh, his steels and stuff. So I'm definitely going to experiment with this on some carbon steels and see what the deal is. And it seems as if um, he also sells this because it came with a nice uh, business card and a whole piece of paper talking all about it. So eventually, I'll basically it'll be like a review to let you guys know what I think of it. But basically, here's the the thing you get with this. I'm explaining everything. If you want to pause there, oh, no, it's not focused. Pause there, and then pause there, and then pause there. And then you can read it. And pause. Well, it's hard to see, but right there. I guess he makes paracord bracelets as well. Bracelets, collars, and custom paracord. Ooh, collars. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Paracord collar? Um, and he has an eBay thing, too. So, anyway. Uh, yes. Thank you very much, Philip. I, I appreciate it. I'm going to uh, definitely try this. And that would be an awesome solution to, um, you know, rust prevention on carbon steel blades. And I have a couple, a couple blades in mind specifically for that. So, I'll see how that works. So, that was really cool of you. I appreciate it. Um, then I also got this really beautiful card from uh, the UK, and on the inside, I'm going to cover this in the bottom because he doesn't want me to write, he doesn't want me to say what his YouTube name is, but I want to show you, I mean, this is the, like a real professional looking, just a really nice card, I really liked it, it's got a cute doggy on the front, it says, uh, hey Jeff, my name is Miles, age 16, I am from England, and have been watching your great videos for about two years now, and must have watched every video. I really wanted to buy you a knife of something, but you told me not to. Because of you, I have started <coughs> collecting knives, zippos, and air rifles. I hope you can read uh, read this on a video, and hope you keep making your awesome videos. Best wishes to you and your family, and Gus, Miles. And then his, he says, keep private, and there's his uh, YouTube name. But um, Miles, that was very nice of you. I really appreciate it. I, I just think it was a really nice card. I mean, it was very... Like, I don't have... Um, awesome handwriting and stuff and not that this was handwritten but I don't know it just seemed professional and you know even for 16 years old it just it's very it's nice when you get something and it's like a nice tidy neat package I don't know it's hard to, hard to explain it was just really nice like I'm like oh what's this letter and I didn't know it was from a viewer or anything it looked like it was from a business <laughs> you know I'm like I thought it was a bill or something and it opened up and I was greeted with this nice doggy and you know, had like a nice piece of like wax slash um, par parchment paper or something. It was just really cool. I don't know how to explain it. It was really nice. But um, 
Thank you very much. This is actually going to sit on my dining room table for a while, just like that. When I get cards, I always keep them out, like on display for a couple of days before I put them away. But anyway, whew, you can't see him, but Gus is down on my feet. Oh, oh, he just let one go pretty bad. Oh my God, it's burning my nose here. Oh, whew, whew, Gus, man. He got me all confused. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I know. I don't want to say I'll have to lift you up. 54 pounds, by the way. And by the way, another thing, a lot of people said, you know, Gus is cute and stuff, but I think he should go on a diet. Gus is actually a perfect weight. He's exactly what he should be. Um, bulldogs are chubby. That's just how they are. And he has a lot of extra skin and stuff, but he is muscly under there. And I use the, uh, the analogy, it's like telling an elephant to go on a diet or a whale. I mean, that's just how they are, the animals. Um... But anyway, all right, I do have one package left that's unopened, and I'm going to use the uh, FU-42, even though there's all this drama surrounding it. You know what? I've already made the decision. I'm going to still review this. Let me think of that. Well, if you don't like it, I don't care. I'm going to review this knife because that's what I said I was going to do, and a lot of people are still interested in knowing about it. So for now, I'm just going to use it to open this package. Bum, bum, bum. By the way, this package is from Gregory in Staten Island. Now, it's a heavy package, and I, I have an idea. I really, I swear to God, I have no idea what's in here. But I have an idea of what might be in here. And if it's not, I'll tell you what I think it is. Because I, I just, I remember a comment, and for some reason, when I picked it up, the first thing I thought was that comment. I'll explain more. We'll see what it is first. And, wow, it's a bunch of stuff. Okay, it's not what I thought it was. Um, it's a bunch of different things in here. I remember someone commented like, oh my God, someone, people send all kinds of stuff. Maybe someone should send him a brick. And I said like, oh yeah, I like bricks, like joking around. And I really, when I first got this package, I really thought someone sent me a brick. It'd be funny. And hey, if we send a brick, I could certainly use it. But anyway, all right. Letta says, hey Jeff. I have no use for these flashlights, but I am sure plenty of people who watch your channel would love to have them. I would love to see these lights featured in a giveaway. Feel free to keep anything that you like and give away the rest. Greg. Okay. That was really cool, Greg. I appreciate it. Looks like we're having a giveaway. Let's see what we got here. Wow. All right. Nice little holster. And looks like an original Leatherman which I used to have, and for some reason I can't find mine. I misplaced it. Portland, Oregon. This is where it all started. The first Leatherman model. Simple, effective. <laughs> On that note, I gotta take Gus out, because that's why, that's why he's farting up a storm. He had his lunch and he's ready to go. Okay, I am back. Gus is a very good boy, and when he has to go to the bathroom, he lets me know it. And the farting is usually the first sign. I know something's brewing. And uh, I'm glad I took him out. He dropped uh, quite a pile. Kind of looks like there's a loose dinosaur somewhere in the yard. Anyway, uh, moving on. Yeah, I don't know if I show this. It's the original Leatherman, the full-size multi-tool, which is awesome. And there's a uh, Wagner, or Wenger, um, camo model. A little pocket knife, which is pretty cool. It's got scissors and a little pen blade and a little nail file. So, pretty cool. Okay, on to the flashlights. We have a mag light. And one of the original mag lights. This looks like maybe a 2C size model. So, that's pretty cool. We have another mag light. This one, this one doesn't have batteries or a bulb. But this one does have batteries in it. And a bulb, and it works. This is a 2D cell in blue. So pretty cool. Another mag uh, flashlight. Kind of like mag lights. Old school. I love them. And then this is, it says 4 3D mag. Um, I don't know, is this a 3D? Looks like a 2, 2D cell size. Unless it just goes to a different flashlight. It could be. No, it's a 2D. Maybe it's just for just in general, not this specific light, but that's cool. It looks like a uh, LED upgrade. 
which is really nice. Okay. Yeah, so you got a little LED upgrade in here. Let's pop this out, take a look at it. That's cool, a little LED module. So if you have one of the old ones, you can kind of upgrade to uh, LED, which is nice. And two more packs of stuff. So let's see what's in here. Ooh. They have a uh, double A, nice red uh, mag light with the, um, looks like a, one of the original Terralux inserts. Has the three, um, you know, three five millimeter LED. It's kind of like the, it's a drop in upgrade. If you guys haven't seen this before, let me take the head off and show you. You take the original bulb out and this whole module goes in as if it was the bulb. And that's your, uh, your upgrade there into three, um, LEDs as opposed to the original uh, incandescent squeaky one. <laughs> so I like the color. It's a really nice red. So that's cool. And let's see another oh, another. Um, oh, okay. This is the mag LED, the uh, newer version with the uh, the standard LED in there. Another two uh, or double A, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll do a video. Actually, you know what? This looks like it might be a three double A. Let's see real quick. I'm going to pop the battery because there's no batteries in this one. Pop the batteries in and see what the deal is here. Yeah, I'd like to do a, a comparison video showing the difference between some of the upgrades as opposed to getting a standard uh, LED one. Let's see. There's one, two. Oh, no. It's a two. It's just, uh, just longer. All right. Well, that's interesting. Actually, let's pop these in here see how bright this is. Um, I've only had one uh, of the LED mini mags, and it was a a three uh, a tri uh, three double A uh, model, which I don't remember. I guess it was a lot longer than this, but this one seemed like it was a three. Anyway, I can tell you just from playing around here and looking at this one that this the uh, the stock one is probably just as bright, if not brighter, than getting the uh, the Terralux, the upgrade like you see in this one. So uh, interesting. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Maybe not. We'll see. There's so many. There's so many new, better flashlights out there. Talking about modifying mag lights to make them brighter. It's a hobby. It's still cool, but you got to really be into flashlights for that. It, my suggestion is if you have a mag light and you want a brighter flashlight, invest in a brighter flashlight. Um, investing twenty bucks, whatever, on a module that's going to make your mag light brighter, you might as well just get another twenty dollar flashlight that's brighter. Just my opinion, but. Anyway, let's see, we got some more stuff here. All right, it feels like there's a bunch of lights in here. Let's take that FU42 and cut into this. Oh, wow. Looks like uh, I got some Anova lights in here. Yeah, very cool. Okay, here's an Anova. God, these are some old model. It it's crazy because I remember when I first got the flashlights, like this specific flashlight was like the coolest thing ever. And it is a really high quality flashlight, but looking at it now, like just the technology has advanced so much. It's really it's insane. So we have another Anova there. I think this is like the XO model. There's another one that I used to have. These don't have uh, batteries in them right now, but it's another one with the five LEDs. And the little baby looks like he's got <laughs> he had every one in the, the line. And last but not least, hmm, I don't think I've seen this before. Oh, a coast, an LED lenser. These were uh, real popular. You, you got these at Lowe's for a long time, and this one doesn't have batteries in it right now. But basically, um, there was a, a lens, a parabolic lens that was in the front here that focused the beam, which actually enhanced the uh, the light that was coming out of there. Mm -hmm. So um, I had a lot of people when they first came out wanting me to do reviews on them. I don't think I ever got around to reviewing one of these, but perhaps I will. This has got the uh, little pack on the inside that holds three AAA batteries. And uh, I might review these, might not. I don't know. Like I said, I mean, they're, they're cool because they're, they're all great flashlights. They're just outdated in a sense but it doesn't mean that they don't work they still work they still throw out a lot of light it's just you can't compare these to you know four sevens offerings of today you know even surefire lights um 
of course, price is always a factor. And Surefires, they, they make great flashlights, but they are very expensive. And a lot of people like, you know, um, other companies like the Claris lights are fantastic for the money. Um, and, you know, of course, Phoenix and there, there's tons of companies out there. Nightcore is another great one. Um, and they make these flashlights that are like just as good, but they don't have the same price tag that you get from a Surefire. Surefire is expensive. I got a phone call. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again after a phone call. Um, <laughs> it's always a distraction. Uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you very much. And yes, you guys can look forward to a giveaway because I will give away some of the stuff. Uh, I don't know exactly what will be involved with the giveaway, but there will be something. So you can stay tuned for that. Uh, in addition to that, I'm going to try to make some other videos today. i got to do some weeding outside. It's finally nice again. I've had so much rain lately. It's good for the plants and stuff, but... I have so many plans on like what I want to do with the yard and then of course, you know, I want to make more YouTube videos and regular work and taking care of the house and stuff and hanging out with Gus. Um, I'm going to make some time uh, today at some point because I have two new knives to review. Um, new to you guys. Well, maybe, maybe not. But uh, some stuff that uh, I specifically put aside to do today because like I, I have so much stuff going on all the time and I, I make good lists, you know, like do this, do that. But unless I like physically take the knives and put it on my keyboard, so when I go on the computer, I go to type and it's like there, and I go, oh, that's right, I should review these, you know. So I, I literally have two things sitting here. So hopefully I'll get those videos done today, and uh, I don't know when I'm going to post them, but you'll see them soon. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. As always, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Take care.